In this video, I'll show you how to create a production-ready, fully managed database on DigitalOcean in a matter of seconds. So here we have managed databases, and managed databases is the service that DigitalOcean provides to give you a database, fully manage it for you, as far as updates, security, scaling, all that good stuff. Here we have supported database engines, which MongoDB, Postgres, MySQL, and Redis. So I'm gonna go up here and go to create a database cluster. You can also find this button up here under create databases. From here, I'll go ahead and choose MongoDB, or you can go ahead and create a Postgres, MySQL, or Redis database. We're gonna go ahead and choose our cluster configuration. Here we have $15 per month for one gigabyte of RAM, one virtual CPU, 15 gigabyte disk. I'm gonna go up to the $30 per month plan. And we can also add standby nodes so that these will automatically be here if our main node ends up failing. There will be a seamless transition over to the standby nodes so that they can start storing your data for you. Now down here, we're going to choose a data center. It's always good practice to choose a data center that is closest to where your actual application lives. In this case, I have one droplet in the New York region. And that's why I'm going to stick with New York. It is closest to my droplet. And by keeping your application and your database close to each other, you are ensuring that the connection time is going to be very low. So down here, we'll keep going. You can name your cluster. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the default cluster name. And we're going to go ahead and click Create a Database Cluster. While our database is provisioning, and we can see the progress up here, we can go down here to the getting started section. Thank you for using managed databases. Our cluster is provisioning. I'll go ahead, click get started. We are going to restrict inbound connections. Currently by default, all databases that we create are publicly available. You can access them from any location. Since we want to be secure for this one, let's say we are making a production database. We want to secure it for a few trusted sources. You can click here and you can do your computer's current IP address, or you could actually click your droplet and say, okay, only my droplet is allowed to connect to this database. So I'm gonna say, allow these inbound sources only. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click continue here. A few things that we can do, we can migrate a database and data. We're gonna actually talk about that in a second with this video. And we're already backing up, so fully managed. It is going to do backups for us. We can restore from a backup if we need to, which is a great feature. I'm gonna click great, I'm done. And we'll let this run so that our database is fully provisioned and we'll see how to use it. Now that our database is provisioned and we're ready to use it, we can go over here to the public private network and connection parameters section under connection details. You can see that all of the Parameters to connect to this database are right here. So I have username is DO admin, password, you can click show and that will show the password. You have your host, port, and your database name. So we can use this to connect to our database. Also, which is a little bit more convenient and a lot of applications are able to use it, you can go to this drop down here instead of correction parameters, you can click connection string. And this will give us a full connection string that we can use in our applications. So I'm gonna show you how this works by connecting to this brand new database using uh, a tool called MongoDB Compass, which is MongoDB's tool for accessing and viewing databases for MongoDB. Another one to do for other types of databases like relational databases is Table Plus is a good one. I'm gonna go edit sources and I'm going to open this up to all sources just so I can access it from this computer right here, and I'll click Save. We'll go up to Overview, over to Connection String again. I'm gonna click Show Password, and I'm gonna copy all of this right here. And then I'm gonna go over to MongoDB Compass. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my edit. Let's see, confirm. I'm going to paste in my Connection String right here. And I'm gonna click Connect. That went ahead and connected directly to the database. 
So now we are looking at our database that is hosted on DigitalOcean. It's a MongoDB database. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Database. So I'm basically creating a new database inside of what we just created. We're going to call this Books. Collection name is Books. And I'm going to Create Database. I'll go ahead and click in here. Click into our collection. And right now, there are no data sets. There's no information in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Import Data. I'm going to click Browse. And here, I'm going to go with this books.json. I'll click Open right here. And this is how we're going to get sample data into our brand new database. I'll click Import and Done. And check that out. We have books now in our brand new database. And they're showing one, two, three, all the way down. And now we can access this from any application that we build. Maybe we build it on Droplets or we put it on DigitalOcean app platform. And then we can connect directly to this database using the connection settings we have here. And we're able to build applications. But that's how easy it is to spin up a MongoDB database, Postgres, MySQL, Redis, all on DigitalOcean. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.